Okay, my name is Johan Falk, I live in Stockholm, Scandinavia, and this night I am geeking out completely on Drupal. I'm, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use uh, rules and views bulk operation in combination to do mass updating of content. Uh, using conditions and stuff to, to mass update content. Uh, I have on my site um, a number of nodes, I think I have like 200 of them, more than I want to update myself manually. And when I created these I had uh, a text list field where I have uh, three values, alpha, beta and gamma, uh, that I could select between. Now I've changed my mind and I want to have the, these values as taxonomy terms instead, so I have created a vocabulary with the terms alpha, beta, and gamma here. But I want to get this data, this plain text data, over as uh, uh, taxonomy terms on, on the nodes. And I could do this manually, manually, which is kind of boring. Edit every node like this. Scroll down. If this says beta, then select beta here. That's no fun. So what I'm going to do instead is that I uh, am using views bulk operations and I'm using uh, uh, rules. And let's see, I'm going to take this view here. Oh, I have it here already. I'm going to add a new field to start with. Field a bulk operations on content, so I can do bulk operations on them. Add. And let's have each button as a separate action, that's fine. And down here we have a lot of different things. Uh, and I want to add one more action here, which will be a rules component, as you will see in a short while. Uh, so I'm not going to select any of these, I'm just going to apply like that. Let's put that uh, field first to make this list look better. And save. Let's then reload this page and see what it looks like. Here, okay, so now we can select do stuff on these nodes, uh, but we don't have selected, we don't have any actions available yet. Now, I go into configuration, workflow, rules, and components. Components can be used by uh, views bulk operations, which is really useful in these cases. Adding a new component, I'm gonna uh, create a rule set. A rule is probably enough in this case, but I'm gonna use a rule set anyway because. If I want to have multiple conditions and actions in, in, ser in a series after each other, then a rule set is the only choice. Let's call this one update. Well, uh, uh, turn text into taxonomy term. That sounds good. This will have an input data parameter that is a node. This will be correspond to, to the nodes we select here in the view. So a node input, let's call it node, node, that's great. Continue. Inside this rule set we have to create a rule to be able to add any conditions and actions, so let's add a rule here. Let's call it um, set taxonomy term. Only term. Okay, in order to work with uh, these nodes properly, we have to tell rules that they have the fields we're working with. So I'm going to start by adding two conditions here. Um, entity has field. So the node we're working with, the node should have the field, uh, field text list. Save. And let's also make sure it has the uh, taxonomy term reference. So entity has field, the node should have field taxonomy select. Great. Save. Now what we want to do here is uh, first action fetch the relevant taxonomy term. I'm going to do that by fetch entity by property. I want to fetch a taxonomy term. Cool. I'm gonna uh, fetch them by the name and the name here should be equal to the node and the let's scroll down a bit more here uh, the node field text list. 
So I want to fetch all the taxonomy terms that have the name uh, field text list here. Cool. I only need one of them, so let's uh, restrict the list to one. Let's call it list of matching terms term list. You actually get a list of terms even though you only fetch one. Rules will consider this a list. And that's kind of important as we'll see in a minute. Um, okay, now I've fetched the uh, corresponding term that corresponds to the, the uh, text, uh, selected text value in this uh, node, in the node we're working with. Next action will be to set a data value one of these Swiss Army Knives actions uh, that we uh, can use. So I want to set the value called node colon uh, field taxonomy select. This is the taxonomy term on the node. Now rules expect me to enter a uh, taxonomy term here because it knows this field should contain a taxonomy term. So I'm gonna fetch from the list uh, we got with matching terms. We're going to fetch the first matching value, uh, which is uh, indexed by zero, and set that into the uh, field here. Like that. Okay, now if I go back into the view configuration, uh, open the bulk operations field, there should be a new operation available here. Let's see, let's see. Here it is, turn text into taxonomy term. Let's use this one. Let's actually, okay, let's start by, by this. Let's see if this works then. So let's reload this page turn uh, text into taxonomy term. We have a new action available here. Let's just take these first three and execute. Are you sure you want to? Yes, I am sure. And here we go. Beta, alpha, beta. Sweet. Okay, now you could do this on all the uh, uh, content here, but let's uh, change one more thing be before we do that because this might be a bit heavy. If you have like 800 nodes on your site, this will be heavy. So let's go down here into the view field and check in queue operation instead of executing directly. This will help us uh, to, to not have timeouts on the site when, when it loads a lot of uh, nodes at the same time and processes a lot of things. Okay, let's try here, select all and then you get this sweet little thing here. Select the 10 rows, I want to have all 200s of them. Turn text into taxonomy term. Are you sure? I am sure. That's a rock. And that didn't really work the way it should. And queued to select it. Oh, you mean I should run Chrome on this one? Interesting. Interesting. That might... Wow. I didn't know that. I thought it was ba um, Batch API that it, it was going to load on this page while waiting. But yeah, something is really going on in the background here. This uh, is taking some time. Also, this is probably the first time I run Cron on this site at all. So, um, yeah, let's have let's have a cup of tea before while waiting for this. And there we are. Um, T always helps. Let's have a look at this. And there you are. Appears to be working just fine. Sweet. Okay, so uh, if you happen to have two separate vocabularies where you have this, well, you can do this twice, I guess. Um, let's see, the rule rule set here. When you fetch by property, if you happen to have two, well, if you happen to have two uh, two fields, two different fields, um, two uh, text list fields and two taxonomy term fields, and you 
uh, happen to have two terms that have the same name in the two vocabularies, so then you might end up with a problem here. You might fetch the wrong term. And how to do that, how to work around that, I don't really know right off my head. But this will be enough for now. Uh, hopefully you don't have uh, two terms with the same name in the two vocabularies. If you have two vocabularies, you can just do this like twice, uh, selecting the different uh, the, uh, the different fields, the relevant fields for, for each time. You could also just cram them in here all at once. Instead of doing this entity has field, you could add the condition content is of type and you'll get all the fields at once. That's kind of useful. Um, yeah, good luck. Hope this helps. Uh, have fun. Uh, see you around. Bye.